This video is property of MBKP International LLC. In this video we're going to show you how to change a laser tube on our CO2 laser engravers. This one here is the 3060U. Most of them are pretty similar. They're going to have two brackets holding them down. There's the second one. I've already taken the screw off this one and I left this one for the last. Just basically you're just going to need an Allen wrench. On most of these at least they have Allen wrench screws. And then when you get that up, this rubber here just usually just peels right back. Okay, you get that out of the way, and you get the other side out of the way, and this tube should come right out of here. You just gotta, sometimes it's stuck to this rubber here, so you gotta just be very careful. But when you're doing this, make sure you have your laser engraver in a secure area, and, you're, and you feel good about working on it. Okay, once you get it free from the rubber, you can slowly pull it out. You gotta watch, on this one here, you need to watch your thing here, so you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull it out this way to keep from hitting it. Just be very careful with it because obviously it is glass. Okay. And this tube here, it goes to the water flow sensor. You can take this off. If they're hard, it's just better just to cut them. Get a razor blade. With this or with nippers. So we get a little water on the floor of it. Okay, and that will go. That will be re, this tube will be reattached to your new one on that post of your new one when you get it. Okay, now all you got holding it is this um, the positive wire right here and the ground wire. Okay, on this they're coated, they got this rubber tubing and some silicone in there. So we just need to take a, a sharp razor and slice it off. When you're going in here, just be careful not to, to get your wire. So just do it kind of nice and easy at first. You can always go deeper afterwards. And go off to the side a little bit here because that where that um where the wire is positioned, I don't want to cut it. Once you get cut through that, you should be able to peel this stuff off. Got that one spot right there still. Okay. Now that's going to be attached with some solder, so you just got to heat this up to pull that free. Okay, that's one side. Let's go over to the other side and put this solder iron down. Now we just got the ground wire holding this on. And you basically just do the same thing to this side. You just need to cut this thing off here. And again, just be careful. You need to go deep enough to get this, but just be careful not to cut your wire. Typically, it wouldn't be an issue because you can just splice it if you got if you if you have enough wire. But if you're short on wire, you could come right into a problem. So once you get that, you just need to peel this off. Get this rubber tube under here. Get some of that on there still. Just gotta get that exposed and get that. Get that solder exposed where you can heat that solder up and get this wire off. Hopefully this will reach, just barely. But just hold it on it and eventually heat up the solder enough to pull as you're pulling on the wire. Just like that. Okay. And now your tube is free. You'll need to take this tube off because you need it. So we'll cut that off. And this again will be attached to your other one. And you can see where it's attached. You can, when you get your tube, it should have these small, this one here, it should have on there, and that one there. But this one should be free where you attach this hose to your, that goes to your water flow sensor and the other hose that would go to the water pump. Okay, and that's, we'll get that here. Okay, now that's off. Basically, you want to, after you're done there, you want to clean up these wires, and we'll show that in another video to have them prepared for the to solder it to the new laser tube. And this is part one of attaching a laser tube or replacing the laser tube. This video is property of NBKP International 